Right, so what we're on today, we're on today, we are fixing a leak in our loft. Now, I'm hoping I can use my new little part that I found. Right, so you'll like this. You'll like this if you haven't seen this before. It's a giant slip coupler so that you can cut out a piece of uh, burst pipe. As you can see, it slips all the way down like that, then slips back across and tightens up. So I was like, hmm, that'd be an interesting one if it's. The chances are at 15 mil pipe. No, in my luck, it'll be split tank or something horrendous. But let's go in and find out. Come on, let's go. So it's bungalow. So no, it's in the loft. Right, no one's in yet. Oh, no one's in yet because we said turn up at nine. It's either the la their landlord or I think I've worked here before. I think I fitted a set of kitchen taps here before for a lady. And it looks like peering through a window, it's still still her stuff in there. So I think it's either her she's been moved out and she has a landlord, but I remember her paying me directly last time. Or did she? I don't know. I don't know. It could be her son or something. Anyway, he said nine o'clock, it's half eight or just over um, 8.40. Um, I could have thrown a stone from a front door and it landed in the garden here. It was just around the corner. So, what should I do? I don't know. Let's make a sit here editing videos, I guess. Right, so we're in. And insurance companies come, they stripped all the wallpaper. They've also taken up all the floor. And then as we away, then we're not walking under it. They've also taken down the ceiling. Now this is where the leak was, apparently. So you see what we got? Put my light, let's have a look. We've got some pipe work here. There's probably gonna be a burst on one of those, which I presume is radiator pipe work because bathroom's here that just leads to outside yeah it's got to be radiator pipe work right let's see if we can find a boiler or anything okay what is that noise mm. well yeah it's on the heating there's the filling loop down there. Oh, that's a brilliant filling loop without a check valve, but... Okay, so there's going to be burst pipes everywhere, I should think. Mm, it's the water off. Where's the water off? It's down here. Oh, lovely look. That's a very easy stop tap to get to. Now, we could just gently turn it on, see if there's any cold. Let's just turn it on very gently. That's running now. now. Let's see if immediately anything starts going. I can hear water running. Okay, there's one. Let's turn that off. Right, so that's the first one. We'll get that done. I think I've got some elbows in the van, little plastic elbows. Get that swapped over. Look, it's going to be a process of just keep eliminating leaks as we find them. Okay, so first one. Let's pop this off. Right. Get rid of that. Pop the new one on. Okay, that's one on. Now there any that we are really clearly visible? Let's have a look. Oh, lovely! Look at this pipe work. One. Okay. Random bit of scrap. Uh, let's get a bit further over there. Um. You would think wouldn't you? You'd think that the joints would pop off before the copper burst, but that was not the case last week when I did this. Now this is why you need to lag your pipes. I ain't seeing no lagging up there. 
So, whoever's thrown in a load of pipe work in plastic didn't even bother to lag it. So, water's back on just again, just ever so gently. Right. Let's turn the camera around. And there's our second one. Right, so this is leak two. Just make sure that's nice and clean. Right. Oh, it's not pushing in, hang on. It's not going in. Why is that not going in? There we go. Right. Leak number two. I mean, we're not even looking at the heating yet. We're still doing... We're still just doing the cold mains. It's going to take a while. Okay. Okay, this time, not hearing anything straight away. Soon. I'll give that a second. Okay, that's all on. I don't think we got any more leaks on the hot and cold side. So now, go look at the heating. And this thing is not happy. Right, it's been on for five minutes. Nothing coming through now. Where's the fuse board? Because surely they've turned the boiler off. Why is it beeping? Fuse board, fuse board, fuse board. Don't really want to touch anything on that without turning off all the power. Where the, where's the fuse board? Most people, it's in the hallway. Okay, so I'll pop the fuse spur out. I'm presuming that's... Hmm... Is that the two spur for her? It's still beeping. Why is it beeping? I don't know. I'm glad my screwdriver's insulated because I don't really want to touch that if there's any power going to it. Right. A dodgy looking filling loop. Um, let's see if I've got a check valve in the van. Right, well I was gonna MacGyver it and I've got a check valve and a, you know, but I don't have a filling loop, so I might as well just go off and get a brand new filling loop kit. So let's go off, grab that. Um, should I get anything else when I'm at the merchants? Yeah, not right now. Right, well, I've been to the merchant. I've got filling loop. I've got some lagging. We'll do that in a bit once, once we've actually fixed the leaks. That would help. Um, but yeah, I'm going to install this quick so that it's all correct. Oh my god, that beeping is doing my head in. Right, let's get this taken off. Right. So this is a cold mains. We're gonna what I will do is all I'm gonna replace is the actual filling loop itself and then our check valve because we don't really need to be messing with that ball fix to be honest with you because there is some water still in the system. Do I sound really West Country then? Water. There's water in this system. Do you know what? That olive's fucked. Let's cut that up. Uh, have I got... I thought I had a... I thought I had a... Pipe slice. Do I have a pipe slice? Where is that? No, I don't. All right, okay. No, it's going on there. Right. Get this cut. Okay, olive, bit of paste. Well, nut, where's the nut? There it is. Nut, olive, bit of paste. That boiler's doing my head in now. that again that way
Oh yeah, turn this water back on again. Right, that's all on. Looks like it'd be stiffer than it really is. Yeah, that's on, right, okay. Now, gentle, gentle, gentle. That's a trip hazard. Oh, in my bucket. Right. Let's look at this bleeping radiator. This bleeping boiler, sorry. Bleeping bloody boiler. Let's turn it. You on. And fill you up. Hmm. Okay. Now, has this got another fill in loop somehow? Is it that one? Oh, God. Right, okay, so we didn't need to check well because it's got that, I didn't realise. Right, okay, that's filling, I think. Is it? Yeah, that literally could have been a hard pot. That's just. Oh, idiot. Anyway. That's your filling loop there. So you've got two filling loops now. Yeah. Great. How will they permanently open? Are they, what does that work? How does that work? How does that feed that then? Hmm. I don't know. I'll think about it a bit. Oh, we've got some pressure. What do we do? Put like a quarter of a bar in? And then see if it drops. Okay, it held at quarter of a bar, so I've just put it up to one bar, and so far, so good. Now, why did this ceiling come down? Hmm. Was it one of those when I was leaning over? I guess it was spraying this way. Kind of expect something up here to be leaking. Right, okay. I'll tell you what, we'll give it 15 minutes at one bar, see if anything drops. Right, so I'm gonna do some lagging. I mean, it's no point to sat about. Got my lagger pro. This is from Plump House. Now, we're gonna have a go with it. I think I need to set this up to get this so this slides through nice and easy. Um, what do I need to do? I'll have a little fiddle about this. Got an insulation saw, or insulate saw, insulator, insulator. And then we'll do some lagging, and uh, yeah, riveting fun stuff lagging. I hate it. Luckily, I don't think I really need to wear a mask because it's so damp in here. Uh, but yeah, let me get it set up. Well, so we've got it set up now, so it just slides in nice and easy. You see, we can do 45s. We can do uh, 45s. 45s, 90s. We can do some bits. We can do some T's. <sighs> oh, lagging. I hate you. Right, let's do some lagging. We've already done a little bit here. Look, I forgot to hit the record button. But we're just going to start throwing it on. Left, right, center. Ah. Right. Got it split. You know, it's just relying on the, the loft insulation. I think maybe they just threw it over the top, but. Good thing about this Lager Pro is you got it in place like this. I've got a T-joint there, so what I can do is I can slide this over like this. Bring it up to my T-joint. Right. And I can just cut it like that, cut it in place. So we want it that way because it's got to be in the groove. Get your saw. 
like that. Slide it off. And just carry on. Like that. That would go over that T. And I love, absolutely love, wearing those big bulky plastic fittings that you're trying to get over. Because how do you insulate plastic fittings? It's never any fun. Right. Like that. Wait, what? Let me bring you closer. Oh, 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 we're the wrong way around, but see that? Just done my little V. Done my 45 there. I oh, know it's all over fittings, but we're just doing the best we can. Yeah, you can have a new angle look. So you can come at me from the other side. Let's get this lagging split. You've got to go quite slow. If you go too fast, it burns your finger. Right. Or am I doing that wrong? Is I've been plumbing for 15 years and not known how to split lagging properly. Yeah, I'm on. Keep going. All the way. There you go. I could literally be here all day lagging if I wanted to, I think. There's that much. A T joint, let's get a saw, slip this over like this, bring it to the middle of that T, and where is the do, 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 do. We do want split there? Okay. So, obviously, you want the line. Uh, where the insulation splits down the middle to be in a it's just got to be facing the right way like that so when it comes over it goes on the right way do you know I'm not going to use the tool for them I'm going to use the tool for that bit do, 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 do. Um, so in a plant room you could you could get a really nice finish on your because the worst thing ever is you do all, all this nice pipe work and then lagging just makes it look awful last it kind of keeps it quite neat now with the off cuts let me bring some light around here look at that beautiful lighting on this video um with the end of this you see it v's like this when you put it through cut along those so you've got a nice v and with these off cuts, we're just going to set up, ready to put a full length going the other way, because that's a full length going on. Push it in, and there you go, it pushes into that T. And then that looks quite tidy, let me show you. Like that. I mean, and that's on plastic, and it's making plastic look okay-ish. <laughs> right, well, I mean, wet. I'm going to get some more. Right, so we top that up now to one and a half. Let me get away from that beep. That's what the video is going to be called. The beeping noise that never went away. Um, right, we're all done. Just packed away, tidied up. Um, right, so her son, who let me in, I've got to call him up, make sure that he can come back and lock up. And it's up to them what they want to do, whether... I want to leave the water off. I'll probably turn it back off, leave it off. Um, because at the end of the day, I don't know how long this is. If this could be ages before she moves back in. And is it going to freeze again? That's hard to tell. So I'll turn the water off. It's a combi boiler, so it won't take long to drain down. Uh, heat and pipe work. Yeah, she's probably going to leave that. Boiler. Surely that's in a bit of trouble because 
it's so wet that I should imagine the electrics are fried. But well, they ain't gas safe. I can't help with a boiler, unfortunately. But at least we've got no leaks. Oh my god, is that what I look like up close? Um there's up there, look. On my steering wheel. Um Right, so we're all sorted around there as far as leaks. There's no more leaks, so they need to get some dehumidifiers in there. I said that to him. So insurance, he's called them up. They're going to send out a load of dehumidifiers. Um, but he needs to get some power on first. So electricians going around there to get the power back on so that they've got some plug sockets they can put in the dehumidifiers. And then down the line, they can sort out the boiler as far as where they're going to go with that. Um, but yeah, shitty situation. It's always horrible when you see someone's house like destroyed. I've seen worse last year. Last year I saw some like horrendous um, leaks. It weren't no fun to go to, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, that's all done. Now I've got the rest of the day off. I've got the rest of the day off. So I'm gonna pick up my little one and. I'm going to sit on the sofa watching movies for the rest of the day, I think. So, anyway, if you like that sort of thing, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry it's not in landscape, but I just don't care. I just don't care because I know how to frame in portrait. I know how to frame things, and also I can use these videos for other social media. I don't have to sort of go to a job and then I can only post it in one place so it's one of them but yeah if you're really upset follow someone else right bye